So where are your x-intercepts at for this guy? Negative Okay. Let's see if I can graph this without a graphing calculator. So what this is, it's a x. What's the degree of this whole thing? Four. One, two, three, four. And basically that would be a u-shape. A little bit flatter on the bottom. And here's positive x and a positive x and a positive x. So it's a positive x to the fourth. I'm, so it has to. It's going to come in from over here, and then go out over here. So it's going to come in. What about this x here? Does that represent some, one of the zeros? Yeah. What's that one represent? That's how you got negative four and three. How? What would you do here? It's zero. So you've got another another one. So it comes in. Comes in like this at four. But what happens at four? Because it has an even number right here. It bounces. Goes through there. Goes back up there. Now let me graph that to make sure that's what it is. Well, I look like a fool now, wouldn't I? More of a fool. Ah. Won't be the last time. Okay. Now, it might not look it, but it actually comes through there. It's hard to see on the graphing calculator. But it actually went through at zero. It doesn't look exactly like my graphing calculator, but it's, it's the same idea. So, we want, a, if it says greater than zero, do we want to write about the stuff above the x-axis or below the x-axis? Above it. What happens out here? Am I always going to be above the x-axis out here if I pick a number out here? It's always going to give me a positive answer. What about negative four? Is it bigger than zero? No. So I just U out the negative four basically. And I gotta go all the way to zero. Three. Then we go out to pause and infinity. And if I flip that inequality around, we talk about below the x-axis. So if it was x, let me use a different color. Here. You would say zero to three. That'd be it. What if it had a bar here? What would that change? use brackets. So we'll leave it at that.